Hello world and welcome. Today we're going to talk about Moringa or commonly called Malungay or Kamungay in the Philippines. Um, you can eat almost everything, every part of Moringa tree. Um, the drumsticks or the immature seed pods, we call them drumsticks, can be eaten. Uh, the leaves, the mature seeds produce oil, which is very expensive. The flowers taste good, and it's very beneficial to the health, and as well as the roots. Today, we are going to focus on the leaves. The leaves are the most nutritious part of the plant, being a significant source of B vitamins, vitamin C, provitamin A as beta carotene, vitamin K, manganese, and a lot of protein. I always urge everyone to make moringa soup or in my instance, I always make a salad and eat them fresh. The moringa juice is very good as well, I take them as fresh juice, adding a little bit of honey. If you don't feel good or if you feel a little sickly or you just don't feel good for quite some time, please make moringa juice, um, even two to three teaspoons of moringa juice will make a difference. Um, drink it all the way straight and wash them with half a glass of water and you will see the difference you will feel the difference in actually a few hours um, the moringa leaves contains all these it actually has complete nutrition it's probably the only one on earth <laughs> so here we go Moringa leaves contain a lot of protein. That is the number one thing with Moringa leaves. A lot of protein. It has vitamin A, thiamine, which is B1, riboflavin, B2, niacin, which is B3. It has some pantothenic acid, which is B5, vitamin B6, folate, and a lot of vitamin C. As far as minerals, it has a lot of calcium, iron, magnesium, manganese, phosphorus, potassium, sodium, and zinc. And again, two to three tablespoons or teaspoons of the fresh juice. Just pound the leaves or if you have a juicer, Make a juice out of it and drink it. It makes a whole lot of difference. If you can't drink it that way or absorb it that way, make malungay soup or tenola or whatever we do. You know what I'm talking about. The utan bisaya with yellow squash, talong, and everything good that you can put in there. It helps a lot. So I urge everyone to, especially the young who doesn't like it, <laughs> take in moringa or malungay soup. Um, again, in my instance, I just wash the leaves really good and I make a bowl and I make a fresh salad. I just sprinkle on some olive oil and then magdukduku o ginger and that's it i eat it raw it's so good and it helps you know if you're not feeling good anyhow please start consuming moringa it's very good for you um, very good for the body it has complete nutrition so if you don't have anything to eat you will survive just using moringa leaves and that's why right now they're Pretty scarce. It used to be all over Cebu when I was growing up, all over the Philippines. 
Now, a lot of companies are making it into capsules for export because that's how good they are. Anyhow, we'll end here. Um, I'm showing you over here on this vlog my little sister, Beth C. I love her so much. Uh, she went to Lapu-Lapu to the other house to harvest some moringa and it looks like they were having fun. Miss you all guys and enjoy. Bye-bye. <laughs> Can I green? Oh, like this. One hundred, yeah, down. Buy a dummy, honey.